Hello, I'm Spade. Just for fun, I got together with my wife and recorded our conversation while we watched the demo of the ESC Icy Box vs. Ninjas in Pajamas match from the Raid Call EMS 1 Cup number 4. It was a lot of fun to do, and I think it was pretty entertaining. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. And so now, in theory, we're going to have a knife round. The knife round, it's kind of like tossing the coin at the beginning of uh, oh, no way. a football match or something. Kind of like a ping pong when you go back and forth or whatever word you're supposed to spell. Uh, anyway. Okay, so it's a way to decide who goes first. Yeah. Bloodier well, than uh, maybe rolling they the dice? Did that. Maybe they already did that. Oh, okay. This looks almost like they're starting. Okay. So, what's going on here? We've got two teams. I, I know right. I know little. So, let's go to... We've got two teams. Good. Good, Monica. Yeah. Let's take off that stuff so we can see the... Um... So if they're playing the first round, basically, you know, obviously you know the basic setup, right? Terrorists versus counter-terrorists. Right. And the terrorists, in pretty much every competitive match, as far as I can tell, the terrorists are trying to plant a bomb. Right. And the counter-terrorists are trying to either prevent that bomb from being, plant being planted or defuse it. Yep. And you said this was the first round, so what's the overall structure? Uh, you've got first to uh, 16 mm -hmm. wins. You know, I should actually know if it, because it's, I think sometimes I see people win at 15. Okay. And I don't know why in some cases it seems like 15 and sometimes it's 16, but that's okay. what I've seen so far. So this is an overview of the whole map. Mm-hmm. Right, so this is up, up. And we're in the second round, it Up looks here like, okay. is, is where the terrorists start out, and down this here is where the counter-terrorists start out. Okay. And here is, let's see if I can draw, yeah. So this is one bomb site, and this yep. is the other bomb site. Okay. And those are the two places where the terrorists can plant the bomb. Okay. And generally speaking, the terrorists uh, will sort of try and look for a weakness on the map based on how the right. counter-terrorists are arrayed defensively. Okay. So right here, it looks like, you know, the terrorists were very light in A. I don't know if that's mm. the normal thing. Wait, uh, to, to what extent do the teams have a strategy that they all coordinate on you know every team member kind of knows what to do this round immediately do they figure it out as they go a fairly, how, how a fairly good extent actually okay because um, so I, I assume it's a different strategy every round right because if you keep going to the same bomb site every time it gets predictable so how do how do the teams how does that team brain work it's it's there's oh, generally quick. generally speaking on the counter terrorists there's mm -hmm. not that much to do because you're just kind of there's some standard setups you're you reacting just, you're reacting right now there's still every team has someone called a caller, okay. and the caller is uh, the person who calls the the, the plays. There's plays. Yeah, okay, and so that's I what you're talking about, this. right? Okay. So that's what you're talking about when you're saying these strategies. Are right, like, right. So, like which bomb site do you so, go I mean, to? How do you again think of distribute? any sport? Think of football, right? Like you've got right, you've okay. got plays, and so somebody for but the offense is the somebody for NIP, which is ninjas in pajamas. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see if we can watch their offer if you're flaring so the op so awp what? that's Opper. this snipery sniper gun here okay we're looking through this guy and uh what does that mean awp that that's this weapon oh the i weapon, see oh see. that's a weapon okay okay uh so why does there have to be a person with an awp or an opera what, what does that mean that's a person playing with an op i know but why why is that important to have one person playing with an op well it's depends on the map and the strategy you're playing and things like that but often there's somebody on the team it seems professionally who oh who's like the professional the, is sniper, the designated basically. person who's really good okay. with that gun got it um and in some maps in some gotcha. cases it's helpful uh to have an op okay and sometimes you see maps and plays where um nobody is using an op okay but it's a typical thing you'll see it you'll see it fairly often fairly sometimes? often okay. yeah. yeah i think you know, okay. every, every, I mean, so here's, you know, on the counter-terrorists, here's uh, Pazza. Uh -huh. Pazza has got an op. Okay. You can see there, because on the screen it shows, you but know, no, what the weapons knife. that people have out. And you, I think you told me that you go to the knife because you run faster? Yeah, you run so fastest to... with the knife. 
that's so funny. And okay. here, this is a spot I see a lot of people on this map line up here because see you can that that spot that he was yeah, looking at. That's where uh, the terrorists will sometimes come out okay. to the bomb site if they're if they're pushing out into the it's called pushing when you move out into the bomb yeah. site. And uh, so he just lines up there. And sometimes I've seen oh. terrorists run out there really quickly and yeah. try and get a pick, which is just when you get a, you know, you, you can stick your head out and pick someone off. Yeah. And then it, then it becomes, if you can do that pick early in the match before yeah. anything else happens, or early in the round, you end up with like a five on four. You have a huge yeah. advantage. So how much of all these typical strategic moves, like having an opera or knowing where people come out, how much of that is just community... Uh, you know, players just figured it out over time, or how much of it was kind of there in the beginning, and the Counter Strike just said, "Oh, this is the natural way you would play this game." I, I don't think anything, as far as I'm aware, there's not a whole lot about Counter Strike that's been very top down at all. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, it's someone, all just people figuring out best practices and other people picking it up from. Uh, I'll give you an else. example. So the op is a very expensive gun. Okay. It's one of the most expensive guns in the game. Okay. Right? Didn't know that. And so it's a valuable gun. Right. Because right? so the game. You know, as I've mentioned before, the game works uh, based on, you know, at the beginning of a round, you have a certain amount of money. And here we can hit right. tab and see how much money each team has. And so there's okay. an element to this game which is called the economy in the uh -huh. parlance, uh, which basically just means, uh, so if you look at this, you know, Ninjas in Pajamas is a little bit better set as right. a whole uh, than the counter terrorists. They're and you, get, okay. you get a certain amount oh, of money okay. for killing other, other players. You get okay. a certain amount of money for winning a round. Right. Uh, and you get a certain amount of money for um, uh, for planting the bomb. Okay. And there are probably a couple other things you get a little bit of money for. I don't really okay. know what the full extent of it is. But generally speaking, if you lose too many rounds in a row, you're going to have to do what's called an eco round, which is where you don't really buy anything. So you can save up your money for uh, the next round. I see. So yep. you're basically guaranteed to lose the round. There's some rare yeah. cases where you can win an eco round, and that's sort of a that's a big bad yeah. thing for the other team because you really effed them up because yeah. you won a round you weren't supposed to win. So if you go 10 rounds and you just haven't won and you have almost no money and the other team is like filthy rich, is it even possible for you to win at that point? You just... We well, just up. you wait. And I mean, anything's possible until somebody but wins. You need you can some win money to get number. some weapons worth anything. Yeah, right? but if you wait around, you know, generally yeah. speaking, you and that's why when we saw at the beginning, Ninjas in Pajamas won the first round. It's called the pistol round because nobody yeah. has any money. Yeah. Uh, and everybody just uses their pistols. Yeah. Generally speaking, you will probably win the next two rounds as well because the next wow. round you have enough money to buy some submachine guns, but yeah, the other team the other doesn't. Team doesn't. Wow. So you have a weapon advantage. Okay. And then the, that team needs to. Often they will wait through. They will wait three rounds to do what's called a full buy, uh, which okay. just means you buy all your normal wow. stuff that you buy. Just the level, the level at which this, these strategies form. Uh, that's amazing. You know, things you do at this round that don't make as much sense this oh, round, or with this much this. money or not that much money. Get right is defense. So get right is probably one of the. Um, what are you talking about? What's Get Right? So Get Right is the name of the player who just got shot. Oh, okay. We Missed were it. just following. Okay. So ni so a little back. Ninjas in Pajamas uh, are probably, at the moment, widely acknowledged as the best uh, Counter-Strike oh. global offensive team in the world. Really? They are uh, virtually undefeated. Where are they from? Uh, Sweden? Oh, that's the, the flag. flag. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. All right, all right. Um, wow. And uh, I think they've only lost... Yeah, so there's wow. when you do tournaments, there's playing a tournament in a LAN, which means you're all in the same room. Yeah. And then there are online tournaments. And right. I think they've lost uh, one or you know one match before to N Faculty, which is another team in mm -hmm. a online setting. Okay. But I don't think uh, I don't think they've actually lost any matches in, in a LAN, LAN. Amazing. Which is sort of like the final word on you know. Yeah. Because uh, it's there are no weird variables about ping, etc. Right. What. Um, so basically they are far and away the really best good. and get right is one of the sort of star players. Okay. Um, he's, uh, so let's see if we get can put right. him, um, uh, he's sort of known for making oh. some really clutch plays. And I mean, like, look at his, like his precision, right? Precision yeah, right there. Yeah, let's watch him for a talk. while. This could be fun. Um, so here he is one on two. Uh, so he's, un he's unable to pull it off. He was one V three. Uh, which is a very hard position to be in. Okay. Uh, so let's look at their money here. So so I think they're probably going to eco this. It looks like... Who is? Oh, uh, yes. Ninjas in pajamas are not going to buy any weapons this round because they don't have oh, enough money okay. uh, to buy up. So if you look, 
he, uh, Freiburg's got a couple of grenades. Mm -hmm. Flaren's got a nade. Uh, but by and large, it looks like they're just saving their money for a round. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there is conversation going on, obviously. Each of these teams is talking to each other. We just don't right. get to hear any of that. Yeah, right? we're, typically I think it's on... Strategy. Well, probably, I think this tournament is actually the Raid Call tournament. So my guess is they're using Raid Call, which is a tool to do, to do that. Raid Call is an app. There's several apps that just let you, you know, have a channel and talk to your teammates cool. over, you know, some sort yeah. of voice communication. Raid Call is one of those. Mm-hmm. And this is, I think, this is a, a match from uh, a raid call EMS one is okay. the name of the tournament. And so I would assume they're yeah. using raid call, okay. but I think typically it's Mumble, is the app that people okay. use. Oh. Uh, that's what I used the other night when I played on ESEA mm -hmm. for the first time. And it's just hey, join the Mumble channel, and then you know join the okay. the team channel, and then you get to talk to your team the whole time. And frequently, like if we were listening to their chat throughout this mm -hmm. it's there's not a whole lot of talk because when you talk you can't hear as well what's going on in the game mm -hmm. and hearing is a very important part of this Whoa. like you can hear where uh you know where people are Whoa. uh you can hear so they're throwing they're, they're throwing lobbing grenades. a bunch of yeah, grenades so yeah what's going on there so what they're doing is they're throwing grenades on this map so see you're standing here and you threw the grenade up like this yeah where'd it go it's gonna go over and then you see all the oh, smoke all here. the smoke so they've smoked this up so when so it's, okay. it's hard. It's, they're and someone dropped the bomb. What's what happened there? The bomb is right under you. Yeah, somebody was. got shot. Oh, I see. Um, so here we are again with uh, just get right, one v three, and of course the bomb is down in bomb side A. So the CTs can just sit there and wait. He has to come get the bomb right. or kill them all if he yep. wants to win. So that's a pretty. I mean, he didn't even get hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, we'll see what he does here. He he's listening intently, and you see how he's walking. Oh, interesting. He's not he's not moving quickly mm -hmm. because when he moves quickly, and see so you could hear the grenade there, so mm -hmm. he knew that somebody threw a grenade. He didn't know if it was a flashbang or a smoke mm -hmm. grenade, but he knew somebody threw it. Uh, audio is a oh. big part of this game. So wow. walking means people Damn. can't hear where you're moving, mm -hmm. and so he didn't hear that guy probably because he was walking up on. Him. Okay. Cool. So I don't know, this sort of gives you, you remember the other day we played a little Dust 2? Yeah. For the first time we tried playing with you uh, d doing a sort of, it's called classic casual, which is just like, it's a, it's a maybe a less intense version of what we're seeing yeah. here, where teams play each other. Yep. And we played with some bots, and we just ran down long A a bunch. Yep, yep. So you learned kind of how you might advance down long a as yeah. a terrorist yeah and the i thought you do a couple of interesting the... things like always put a you know throw a smoke grenade over here or do, i don't know yeah different sort of or or you would you would point out this is where you stand so if the, the, the interesting thing about to just jump in because what we just yeah. saw there was they threw some wow. nades uh -huh. they did some real damage yeah and they hit uh and, and when a grenade hits people like that yeah you can hear that it hits someone oh. as opposed to just wow. exploding so if you threw the nade you know that there's someone there. So they knew that the team was there, or at least somebody was there. Oh, because wow. They could hear. I didn't so realize there was so audio. much information in the sound. Okay. Audio plays a big role. That's and that's why, cool. so when they're when they're talking, if we were wow. listening to their mumble, we wouldn't hear a lot of talk. Yeah. We'd hear at the be beginning, right now, they'd be going, okay, what do you think? You know, eco? Mm -hmm. No, we have enough to buy. So let's buy. Let's do full buy. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? B split? A split? Does like each this? team usually have a leader? Somebody who just calls the show? That's, that's the call. Oh, right. You, we, I, we, we, we already said that. Okay. And then, like, once they're ready right. to execute, they go. Yeah. And at this point, they're pretty much only going to call out new information that the whole team needs to know. Okay. For example, they might say, uh, you know, one on site A or one in heaven, uh, which okay. are, you know, different spots. Mm -hmm. So, you know, up in the left of the screen, you can see with official maps, they say the names. Yep. This is a little obscured by our perhaps counter but okay. it's, i think it says middle yeah so like you this is where they are standing now is middle right um and that should in theory change cool. as we move so you'll see you know they're throwing grenades, grenades in, yeah. in a coordinated fashion yep um it, it's, it's very pretty close like, match so far there's nobody uh yeah neither of them are coming out top yeah right. it's actually and, and i think uh you know most maps lean CT or or T like they favor uh -huh. one or the other. Oh uh, really? So what is this favor sure. technically? And I was about to say I don't actually know which one this favors. Okay. Yeah. Um, I assume it's uh -huh. a 
a CT favored map since most maps are CT favored. Does that mean does the money hand it out for certain things? Um... It just means structurally the map. Okay, but you don't get you know, you know more points for winning in a map no. that favors the other side. As far as no. you know, okay. no, 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 that's what I meant. No, it's just it's it's pure map structure and I where, see. you know where not where right. cover is and how easy it is to defend the sites right. versus you know what what lines of sight you have when you start out how close right. you are to different things. I think Dust Two is actually one of the few maps uh, that are that's better to be a terrorist on because right when you start the map, uh -huh. I learned this from the the Win GR those twenty minute videos that you're amazed that I watch. I can't believe you do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Many things amaze me about this. Okay. But uh, you know he was explaining that on Dust Two when you start as a terrorist, that was an interesting way to throw a flash grenade. So see when you, if you're looking at a flash oh, grenade, he's moving that you so threw, quickly. Uh, you you yeah. get blinded. I'm amazed with the precision that these guys yeah, have. Yeah, this is amazing. You know, that's another thing to just practice, is to just practice what happens when you throw a, throw a nade. Like, how mm -hmm. does the physics of it work? Where does it end up? Yeah, and, they're not and missing. having a really anything. solid command, it's just the precision which, with which they do that is mm -hmm. really impressive to me. So here we are. Forrest is now 1v4. Uh, he doesn't have the bomb. Ah, uh, yep. So he's in a real tough spot. Shit. Like, it'd be insane. And he might just decide to save his weapon. You mean just um, die? No. no. What do you mean? What, try what do you and mean stay, just try and stay alive. You know, just kind oh, of make without, a without making a move for the overall mission. Without trying to win the round. Just kind of make a yeah. little noise. Try and prevent them from just coming after him as a group. Try and figure out, you know, how he can... Because if he can save his AK, mm -hmm. then that means he doesn't have to buy next right. round. So oh, he that can ends up money. mattering. Interesting. And his team has, okay. you know, a little bit of a better chance because of that. Yeah. But it doesn't look like... I mean, okay. you know, yeah, that was that didn't that, that wasn't tough. working out for him. Oh, How what I was gonna say about the op ages yeah. ago is that you know, a t a, as an example of emergent behavior in Counter Strike, is that apparently in in or CS one point six, which is what we now call original, you know, it's the original Counter Strike. Mm -hmm. um, during professional matches early on, it was like people were really like people started at the end of a round if you won and the enemy team had an op. Mm -hmm. You try and pick it up, and they give it to your ah, teammate who's the opposite. Right. You didn't have to buy it; it was a free That's gun. That's nice. Okay. And that was really innovative. You're like, wow, look what he's doing. He's, you know, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's here's the op again. You know, he's gun. saving the op for uh, for his teammate. Wow, it's great teamwork. That's really impressive. And now it's just kind of standard practice. Yeah. But that was all. See, like, look how he threw that, oh. and then he stepped just far enough away to stay so that he didn't get flashed. Yeah, through. the cover. That's it's amazing. really. I mean, it's Great. just the precision is. Amazing. Yeah. The precision and the understanding of how those things work. And so when it, you look at this and you're you're someone who's trying to really master this game, um, what is the number one thing you envy about these players? I, I you keep saying precision. Uh, yeah, that's a fairly general category, but that's probably it. Okay, Which, you know, so more specific. It's, it's preci well, I mean, it's just it's sort of a cop out because it's like, well, of course, I mean, because yeah. the, the entire game is about precision. True. Precision of aim, precision of movement. Uh, you know. It's this is really interesting. I mean, ESC is really is really taking a lead here. Yeah, and you're right. they're wow. they're on the CT team, yeah. and you know, supposedly this is probably a little bit of a CT sided map. But see, there, I think, uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, they're really doing well. Wow, they're really doing well. So, how often does the map change? How does that get determined? Uh, that's sort of tournament rules. I think people will play a match on a map. So you do half. Uh, you do 15 rounds. Oh, wow, that was a Whoa. nice shot. Uh, see, now he's just he's just told his team three at mid. Because he okay. saw three guys there, and he just got to say it quickly so that people can still hear what's going on in the game. Yeah. But he's got to have... Really? <laughs> Did he just hit, What happened? He just get a kill by shooting blindly and spamming the smoke. Uh. That's awesome. Um, see how he ran backwards a little bit as he threw that? That canceled out some yeah. of the momentum of the of the flash, so it didn't go as far as it Whoa. would have otherwise. Okay. So you've got the physics going. There's so much about this game which is so elegant. It makes it such a wonderful competitive game. Yeah. It's really really cool. Um, the, the, you know, it's one of those things where it's th this is kind of the granddaddy in some sense. Is one of the granddaddies of competitive esports. Uh, Counter Strike is, mm -hmm. uh, and you dive into it and you sort of learn why. You sort of start to realize how much. It's a game about it, it. I mean, much like a you know what we commonly call sports, it's about yeah. the skill of the player. It's a very um, it's a very straightforward set of rules. 
yeah. in a world that's fairly, you know, it's like the, when you when you use the sniper rifle, in a lot of games now, like Battlefield 3, right, I was watching my cousin play Battlefield 3 the other day, and when you pull out your sniper rifle and you zoom in, God, they're just getting destroyed. <laughs> that was huge. Wow. Um, the, uh, and we didn't see any of it. I should turn on auto director so that we actually get to see some action. Um, the, uh, the the sniper rifle, when you zoom it in, it, it waves around, right? Because it's like, well, you'll be breathing, and you got to hold your breath to make it go still, and there's only a certain amount of time you can hold your breath, and it's all this, like, yeah. it's wow. so, like, it's needless complexity. Yeah. The, the simplicity of the rule structure in Counter-Strike allows for all of this nuance. It yeah. takes out some of, it takes out the randomness that comes from things like a wobbling sniper scope. Right. You know, and, right. and really intensifies That's the, cool. the reliance on the team and the players. Yeah. And their skill. That's awesome. That's pretty so. cool. Yeah, so I've, I've told you um, a couple of times now that when I was in high school and college a little bit, the way I played these kinds of games, first-person shooter, was always just all-out deathmatch. You know, I didn't want any strategy. I didn't even want teams. I'm like, no, I just want to kill people. Uh, and I never thought beyond that. Uh, so for me, seeing this game and, and understanding the strategy, on the one hand, I'm like, oh god, there's so much to learn. It, it would take so long to get good at it. But on the other hand, you, you must get so much, so many more levels, uh, dimensions of rewards from, from being able to grasp the entirety of it and not just, you know, shoot a lot of people dead. Well, you're working on mastery of a real skill. I mean, not that you aren't in a, in a, in a death match. It's... it's it's a combination of things. It's just a combination of things. It's more a sport. I mean, you know, when I just yeah. played straight up deathmatch, there was very little that was sport about it. I mean, can you shoot? Can you aim? That's about it. He's gonna make it. Yeah. Uh oh. Boom. Dang. So that was half. So fifteen rounds. Okay. Uh, that's one half. Um, he almost he almost wow. had eleven four. That's a really big. I think that's a big lead. I don't. You know, you sort of handicap it based on. That's pretty how the map is tilted so i assume it's a little bit ct sided so it's not probably you would normally expect it to be probably like nine six or eight seven i guess uh towards the ct so here we have another pistol round mm -hmm. right so it's the beginning of the second half all your money's been erased all your stuff goes back to zero so this is to sort of even out the the way the match yep. works so everybody gets a chance on either cool. side right because right. one side you know you never know so what's the strategy with a pistol round because you don't have you know the ops and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, different. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be different. <laughs> more cautious, maybe. I mean, it takes no, so much more. No, I think it's the opposite. Kill. I think it's the opposite. Oh, really? Because more with, aggressive. With, with the more powerful weapons, it's very much about positioning. Hmm. And you know, can you see someone first? And you know, how's your cover, etc. Yeah. And I think with pistols, there's a lot more of this. Just you know, you're seeing them just fire rapidly and just kind of you know, point and point at the person and shoot a lot. Yeah. And, you know, hope you can get their health down. And um, it's, uh, it's de I think it tends to be a lot more aggressive when you have a pistol round. Okay. And you notice that they got the bomb down here. Mm -hmm. They planted the bomb, which is a good thing uh, for ESC because uh, even though they're losing the round, they're going to get some money from planting oh, the bomb. Oh, I see. And I think okay. that's actually somewhat significant. So, like, mm -hmm. let's look at the, um, let's look at their economy. So, you said so they all, you know, twenty-three to $2,500, which is, mm -hmm. they're not going to buy anything, but it does mean that... Instead of having to wait two rounds, they can probably, after this round, if they just eco this round, they can probably, uh, they might even be able to do a full buy. You know, we'll see what they do. We'll can see how you, they play it. Can you exchange money within a team? No, but you can drop a weapon to someone else. Oh, okay. So you right? can buy so something, give it to somebody. has 7K and somebody has 2K, you know, typically will have to say, hey, can you drop yeah. me an M4? Or, gotcha. Hey, can you drop me an AK? And somebody will just yep. buy an extra gun and drop it on the ground for them for his team. Mm -hmm. So this is likely going to be a bit of a... It really cool. should be, wow, they got a kill. And even that matters, mm -hmm. right? That matters for the economy, because that means yeah. Forrest, who got killed, he's the only one down mm -hmm. on the CTs, and they wow. got the bomb down again. You can hear the bomb. Yeah. Um, so so they did well there, and Forrest it's has like got to buy a weapon again. So, right. So Forrest, you look at Forrest here, he's only got 100 bucks, mm -hmm. and it's going to go up because they won the round, but... He's kind of, he's behind. Mm -hmm. And let's see, he might, let's see what he does. So he's going to, he's going to buy, but I don't think he, did he buy a primary? Did he buy a primary weapon? I don't know. It's not showing it. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. M maybe somebody dropped it to him. Right, because if, if it's, if it's just that, that that easy, it's probably not too big a deal. So in the beginning, as you're buying everything, I assume you have to do it pretty quickly, right? I mean, is uh, there an yeah. advantage to just not buying and just go? I mean, is no. there a speed advantage there? No, no, not, no. Okay. Just doesn't take that long to do it. No, and you have a freeze time at the beginning. You notice how oh, you just kind of stand around for... Yeah, I didn't know seconds. if that was intentional. That's just for buying weapons. It's, you okay. can't move. I see. Even if you wanted to. It was quickly I see. went somewhere, didn't it? Ninjas and pajamas taking some rounds here. Quickly. Yep, they're there again. Now we're back up to eight ten. They're taking wow. you know, the first three rounds of the second half. So this does seem to favor. And that's not. That's. CT. Yeah. 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 It would sort of yeah. It would indicate that we've got a, a map that favors CTs, yeah. but you know it also indicates that uh, Nip is the best team in Counter Strike <laughs> at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, oh, so so now he knows, they know that someone's there, because you see how his health went down by two? Yeah. So they know the grenade hit someone. Right. Oh, so they'll even look at the health bar. Oh, makes sense. Okay. They don't look at, the, they can't see that. This, oh, this they can't health see stuff health that we see, okay. they can't see. You know? okay. But they can hear. They can hear that the nade did some damage, even if it's only two And they damage. know how many players on the other side are dead. Yes. Right? They do yeah. know that. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Wow. That was an eco round, though. So, the, you know, the terrorists didn't have real guns. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So let's just, just for fun, let's take this view um, and see. So there's the terrorist okay. starting up here. Freeze time. And let's see Let's see two things. Let's <laughs> see how the CTs choose to defend. Let's see how NIP chooses to defend the two bomb sites. So they're going to okay, run yeah, out Okay, yeah, because they don't know where the terrorists are going. Right. And so the terrorists have to choose these different routes okay. to go. So they're it looks like they're up. going down towards bomb site B with two of them here. Yeah. And they're sort of, they're sort of waiting. So we've got... Oh, yeah. We've got... Two CTs. Yep. Oh, no, okay. so we've got four, basically. So the terrorists can really game. bide their time, because the CTs aren't really going after them in a big way. If the they CTs, wanted to, they the could, The CTs like, play out. defense. Right. But notice how the round's only, like, a minute and a half long. So what happens at the end of that time? If the bomb's not planted, the terrorists yeah. lose. Oh, I didn't realize there was that timer at all. Okay. Yeah, so didn't the terrorists, there's, there's time pressure on the terrorists. The terrorists gotcha. are definitely under the gun gotcha. each round. So they just, it looks like they're getting set up. They could take the bomb anywhere, because see how it's mm -hmm. right there right mm -hmm. now? They could take the bomb in any direction. They could take it down here to B, huh? or it looks like they're getting ready to push out here. Oh, wow. And see, the CTs have got a guy here, here, and here. So they're Jeez, really well hard. set. Yep, now they, oh, they've got, of course, they've they, so this A guy, well. Yeah, so they took the site. Nice. They have possession of the site. Planning and so the now bomb. they're going to wait for Flaren to come back. Oh, wow. So wow. that was a good take. So now Fiflaren's with his AWP. So he's 1v3, he's, uh, yeah. he's basically, he's got a... Uh, and he lost the AWP. Well, I mean, Right? Yes, mm -hmm. because he's dead. Right, that's what I mean. But yeah, so that's an interesting sort of, that's one way to look at a round, see how everybody kind of... That was cool, yeah, I like that goes after it now look so both this is a round where both teams had enough money to buy and and this is going to make a difference because steel series has got a lot of money but uh wow but most of the teams it's sort of middling i think probably either team could lose this round and do a buy but the next one uh maybe not mm -hmm. so here's the flare and just kind of Whoa. waiting for that peak so he waited for that guy to peek around the corner and he was just too slow to nail it yeah so he doesn't get the kill on that but you know that's what he's hoping for. He's hoping for someone to peek out and that he can he can nail him. So fast. Yeah, reaction time is a huge, huge, so huge fast. deal. Positioning, reaction time. So like his, yeah. you know, it's like he needs to get his crosshair where someone's going to be before they're there. Right. And then just, just you know, hope he's fast enough. So already we've got some damage on uh, on some of the. So look, they turn, they throw the flashes and they turn so they don't get fully flashed. But Whoa. That, that didn't work Whoa. out. That didn't work. Get right, just cleaning up Jeez. the mess. But then gets. Oh wow, good eyes. God, so much of this goes so fast for me. I just, I. It feels like you're. You well, have helps, enough time with this that you it, can it pick out a lot of the know details. What I'm, I'm looking at. You know yeah, I mean? I'm still and you will too it eventually. Out. 
So what he did there, that's interesting. That, that sound that you heard, mm -hmm. that's the sound that gets played when he starts diffusing the bomb. Oh, and so okay. what he did was a fake diffuse. Because when you're diffusing huh. the bomb, you can't shoot. You can't do anything else. So ah, so he thinks target. it'll bring somebody out. Yeah. So yeah, it's he's baiting the guy. Interesting. So, oh no, he's trading weapons like crazy there. Wow. <laughs> Buying a bono weapon. Yeah. All that money. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. So yeah, once again, looking for a pick. Doesn't look like anybody's there right now. Yeah. All the smoke. It's amazing. I mean, it's a really, you don't see. How it's a really <laughs> dynamic. It's a really uh, interesting move to just make everything Well, nice. when you run through smoke, you become an easy target. So it's a, it's a really so see how he smoked up that en entrance there. Yeah. If somebody runs through that, he'll have an easy shot at them. Like it's, it's a very, huh. you know, you can block off pathways in the map for 15, 20 seconds per, yeah. per smoke nade. Oh, I see. Because people really, don't want to run in there. It closes off options okay. for the terrorists. It I see. I, I hadn't realized that that was part of wow, the point. Wow, that was a shot. <laughs> <laughs> just I don't through. even see. He didn't. Anyone. He's just. It's called spamming, but he's just shooting what? through the smoke, just kind of in case he hits something, which he did. Oh my god! He got a kill. How the hell? It's great. How long have these guys been playing? <laughs> I don't know. How many hours? They're all probably fifteen. Ten thousand hours. They're all probably fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, no. The the actual age of the pro players. Do you have, do you yeah, know anything about that? They're teenagers. Really? Early early twenties. The best players in Counter Strike are are teenagers or early twenties. They're that yeah, young? They're, wow. It's, it's, it's no how, way. depressingly young for guys guys like oh. me. And, oh, stop. And, and you, you know? Yeah. By the way, I'm I'm spayed. We didn't say that at the beginning. No, we didn't at It'll all. I was wondering if you were going to introduce And you're, uh, well, we just started. The map yeah. just kind of started, and I was like, oh, wow, it's not the knife round at all. That's yeah. the pistol round. I wish I had a cool name. I don't have a cool name. I have my name, but it seems boring well, to just say isn't it. Well, Fent? Fen no, it's no. not that one. We, we didn't. What? Oh, uh, Jeze Jezebel. Jezebel. I suppose we can go with that. But I, I, but you know what? It doesn't feel like I've earned it. We should do a poll. I'm not that cool. We should do a poll for my name. <laughs> uh, spade spouse. <laughs> spade spouse. <No>. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's technically true. <laughs> I'm the woman who married a gamer. Spade spouse. <laughs> it happens it. to enjoy watching all of this happen. Okay, admit it. This is interesting. No, of course it is. Yeah, and, no, I and, think it's very interesting. I'm, I'm just playing the, the part is, of, oh, oh honey. Flash. Look at how he just used the curve of the ground to block that flash. Yeah, the peaking. And I he, noticed just that. Used, he just used the top of that silo to block that flash. That was incredible. I love how it's no more than like two seconds. Not even, like a second, where one player sees another. It's like someone's going to die within, you know, no time at all. They're just wow, that's a quite shot. good at this. No one ever gets to run away. Yeah, it bombs seems down, like. but they'll defuse it easily because mm -hmm. they have enough time left uh, to even go grab some weapons. I'm oh just wow, go that's, funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's yeah. funny. But I mean, it's like no, I know what you mean about everything's sort of fast. It's hard to follow. It's yeah. easy for me because I, I kind of you know I've spent some time following this already and yeah. watching a bunch of these. And there are, to be fair, there are tons of. Uh, a prof they're called shoutcasters. They're pro shoutcasters. Okay. They're people that do it to be awesome. Yeah, uh, commentate basically. Like uh, like the War Owl is probably yep, it's the I've first one I ran him. into. Um, and he's awesome. And you should watch his cast. In fact, I think he did a cast of this match, and it's probably uh, way way better than this thing you're listening to now. So mm -hmm. you should also watch that. Uh, Pugcaster. Wow, there's three of them. Uh, yeah, we're not commentating so much as I don't know. Uh, well, I I certainly can't. I mean. It's just a lot of... Right, so what I was saying is, the, the, you know, you, I spent some time watching and listening to people who know what the hell they're talking right. about. Right. And, and ultimately, I'll figure out, yeah. you know, enough that maybe I'll be interesting and I'll have something interesting to say about what's actually going on on screen. Yeah. Although I think this is kind of working. I think I can answer your questions mostly. Yeah, no, you can. You can, but, absolutely. But if I, like, I if I log into League of Legends, right, or Dota 2, which are these, you know, two other... They're massively more popular than Counter-Strike mm -hmm. in terms of people watching the pro scene. And, uh... What are you doing? Typing? weird um i don't know what they're doing i don't know do they have an afk or something? what's going on that sucks if he's uh something's going on with him that basically makes it five on four 
Oh man, every time I look at that wheel in the beginning of the rounds we're supposed to buy weapons, all I see is a mix of numbers and letters. I have <laughs> no idea. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, this is a this is a really intense 12-12 is an intense time to be down a player. He hasn't even bought any huh. weapons. I don't think he can buy any weapons what? at this point. They're going to have to play super... Def they're just going to have to hope that Nip doesn't realize that uh, ESC is down a player. That's a huge Wait, deal. wait. Tell me about this down a player thing. So I this guy you. is just sitting here with a pistol. Why? I don't know. Did he not... I don't know why? if he got disconnected. I don't know if there's something... Something's oh, going on. I mean, weird. something... I, I cannot imagine... Well, can it hurt them that much to be down one player? Oh, yeah. Really? See, here they are requesting a pause. <gasps> Because oh, they've got a they've got a problem. Stuck. Well, I guess he couldn't buy. I guess he just couldn't buy. But he's moving. Okay, now he's moving. Pause at end okay. of round, I assume. Yeah. Um. So yeah, some technical difficulty. I don't know what the story was there. I wonder what it was. Huh. Um. Yeah, he's moving his mouse around, kind of shooting, trying to figure out what's going on. They have twenty five seconds to plant the bomb. Damn. Um. Yeah, that's a shame. Something technical Man. going on there, for sure. But yeah, if I, if I was to watch, you know, a League of Legends or a Dota match or something like that, I, I would really have no clue. You know, I would need a lot of, yeah, yeah. a lot of guidance. And there's something that a certain, uh, you know, it takes a little familiarity with the game um, to, to really appreciate it. And that yeah. kind of sucks. Like, it's one of the things that I really... No, it's, it's not I terribly like accessible. I, I would mm -hmm. like this to be a lot more accessible because it is so cool and so interesting. Yeah. And that's just one of the things that... Yeah, uh, it would be it would be figuring out in what order to explain this game. You know, you, you begin with, like, sort of the simple framework and then you dig in. But, yeah, it, it's, it would be easy to get lost in the details and start to get just difficult to access. Interesting. Okay, so they're talking about sound problems. What? Sound yeah, it looks like they're going to pause. pause. Okay. I don't know what they're I don't know what's going on. Maybe they didn't. Yeah. Okay. okay. Pausing. Hmm. Um. Huh. Okay. okay. I don't know how that worked. Maybe they edited. I have no yeah, idea maybe they edited works. it. Um. But I guess we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. I guess we're good. Um. This is intense though too. This is it's close. Thirteen and twelve, and you know Nip doesn't yeah. lose. But this is close. Okay, another uh, question. Look at that. You can see someone. What? You can see his knee right oh, there. You what? can see it. Knee? You didn't you see You can that? see a knee. No, I didn't see that. Uh, I don't see knees. What do you... There was a knee. knee. You almost got him. Oh, my God. No kidding. And look. Look how much what? force... Look how much damage force took. Whoa. Uh... How do you heal over time, right? No, 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 no healing. No healing here. No healing. Oh, okay. He's just got sick. But the thing is, oh. you know, for a pro, you realize you're still alive. 17 health to 17 health, this is just going to be easier to kill you. But yeah. you can still play the same yeah, way. Yeah, you're I not mean, weaker in any until way. Until you're dead, you're dead. Yeah, you know, I mean, you're, you're alive. alive. And then when you're dead, you're dead. And it's, yeah. it's sort of binary. It's like, yeah. yeah, you have less health, and that just means it's a little easier to kill yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you, you're still fully capable. Right. Of, uh, One of those wonderful non-realities wow. of these sorts of games. getting real yeah but i would like this to be a lot more accessible because it's so cool yeah and i, and I think that um I, I just want to be i want to be a real uh i don't know booster is not the right is word. there is there out, out there, there somewhere has someone scene. made like a you know starting getting started guide I, I little was video about or... doing that. That yeah was the do, that would be cool quick. just just to watch a video that you know in, in two minutes explains you know at least less. the places my goal, my goal is like 25 seconds okay like how much can i get into 25 seconds and yeah I was just gonna... the basics of the game why it's really beautiful why that, you should really try that kind of thing okay. um okay uh another question yeah how did these players find themselves in form teams i have no idea okay. I, I i really don't I mean, the, the NIP, at least, is, you know, a, quote, professional team. I think there's a lot of these teams that are wow, What? That was <laughs> nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. Wee, <laughs> um, I think he threw the smoke knowing it was a smoke, but hoping that the guy would think it was a flashbang and turn. Whoa. You know, kind of, oh, I hear a nigga to be turning because it's a flash, and then he could come around the corner and just nail him in the Goodness. face. Or in the back of the head, as it were. Um, uh, yeah, NIP is a professional team. I think there's... 
you know, some of these teams, they field teams for multiple games, right? So they'll have yeah. a Dota team, and they'll have a LoL team, LoL is League of Legends. Okay. Um, and they'll have a World wow. of Warcraft team, and they'll have Counter-Strike team. Wow. And it's, you know, backed by some, you know, team okay. moneyed interest, and, you know, so it's sort of, it is, it's, you know, a more official structure at this level. Yeah. Um, wow. I, you know, there's obviously, a, so here he picked up the op because it's a nice, valuable gun, as we know. And here we are, mm -hmm. 50, so this this is clearly the 16, because they haven't won. Yeah. Uh, but this this could be the last round. This could be the round that Nip loses for the second time. Ever. I think. Wow. So that's a, that's a huge deal. Yeah. How, when was this actually played? Right, so we're watching this as a recorded demo. This was played yesterday. Oh, wow, okay. That recent. Cool. Yeah, but by the time we post it, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How often do these teams play? Not each other I mean, necessarily. It seems but... like constantly. I mean, okay. Nip plays... And they never lose? Uh... Oh. Well, that's lame. Uh... Was that the end of the demo? Guess That'd be so. a lame time to end the demo. Weird. They were so close. Uh, no, okay, apparently I can't do it in all caps. Let's see what happens. If I try oh, to... would it start at the beginning? Or, yeah, no, it's in the beginning. No, round 8, point twenty to 30 on your console. So let's see, right. uh, let's see whether we, uh, okay, can I not do that? Apparently that's the end of the demo. That sucks. Oh, boo. All right. Somehow the recording stopped. All righty. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and the anti-climax. Yeah. I'll spoil it. Uh, I'll spoil it. Mm -hmm. Nip loses. <laughs> do they really? Or yeah, do you 16 know? To, okay. 16 to 12. They do. Okay. Uh, so that was the last yeah. round. And we will never know how it ended. <sighs> No, oh, it, weird. It, they lost. Uh, that sucks. Would they have another place that they recorded this, or is this usually the only? I mean, I, I just went to HLTV, which record? is the only thing I know how to do. Okay. Um, I don't know what this whole static audio channels thing in my console is, but uh, thanks, thanks for doing the uh, yeah, no, this, commentating this cool. with me. I don't know if I again, I'm, I'm not worthy of the title commentator. Uh, thanks for doing. I am, the I am merely a vocal bystander. A vocal bystander. <laughs> I'm a curious bystander. There, now, now that's your and name, vocal question, bystander. Vocal bystander. No, 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 please, go on. I'm just, <laughs> okay. I just have one question. Oh, here's another question. Well, and another. Uh, who knows? So we'll, 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 we'll post this or something like it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you guys like it um, uh, and you want to see more or hear more, uh, drop a like. Yep. And that'll be that'll Do you have be an idea for a cool name that isn't Spade Spouse? Uh, <laughs> hit us up <laughs> let us know <laughs> and uh yeah hopefully uh hopefully you enjoyed it or found it at least uh mildly mildly entertaining mm -hmm. all right spade out